Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, hello. Good, Good evening. evening. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. How was the vacation? Very good. <laughs> okay. And you? Good, good, good. I cannot complain. Just let me. Okay. So we have. Let's see. Now. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to start now. Yes, good evening. Hello. Okay, that I guess that the, yes, the majority are in now. So we can get started. Okay, don't forget to turn off your microphones. Okay, to, to avoid the, the environment sound so that we can listen and enjoy the class, okay? Uh, well, I hope you had a, a nice vacation. Okay, remember in this week, uh, we have to cover up to section three and also the midterm sun, right? So you're gonna have until Friday, I guess, to finish with the exam. But we can do some things this week too. Okay, so today we're going to start with the lesson objective for today. Which is, okay. All right, so we have, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus a noun and field plus an adjective to express health problem, okay? Additionally, you will practice a conversation with, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting, okay? So this is what we have here for today. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a head. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. 
I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives fine, great, terrific, fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example I feel homesick. The subject is I then we need to add feel finally we need to put an adjective homesick or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Do you have any questions about vocabulary, structures? Do us a doubt, something that you consider some uh, repetition or pronunciation. One sentence I have a head headache. Please, uh -huh. I have a headache. I have Heady. a headache. 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 Like when you say cake, but without a cake. Hate. Hate. Headache. Headache. Say headache. Backache. Backache. And I have the flu. Okay. Here I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Okay. So all these are expressions or phrases so that you can express 
uh, how you feel in negative form or in a positive way, right? For example, like, like in these examples at the end of the video, uh, is for uh, you say I feel hum I feel sick, sick. I feel awful I feel terrible and I feel miserable so this is very very bad okay these are negative uh, let's say feelings right this is when we feel not good and on the right here we have the positive one uh, how do you feel today oh I feel fine okay I feel fine. Even the, the way that we say it is uh, more uh, enthusiastic, right? More enthusiastic. And then you say, I feel fine. Okay. Uh, there one is, for example, what um, uh, I feel great. Okay. Or I feel terrific. Okay. Or I feel, um, I feel fantastic. So these are, you know, different ways to express positive, positive ways in our feelings. Uh, don't confuse terrible and terrific, okay? Mm -hmm. Ter terrible is negative, terrific is positive. Mm -hmm. If you say, uh, or if you tell a person, hey, you look terrific, it's something nice, something good. Okay, but if you tell a person you look terrible, okay, so that is, uh, it could be offensive, right? It could be offensive or it could be something probably not very nice to say, okay? Okay. Good. If you have no questions then, here you have, uh, for example here, I have stomach ache. Okay, I, you say, for example, I have a foot stain and I feel fantastic. Okay, let's see this one, okay? For example, when you say, sorry. Okay, here, look at this one. Foot stain is, the plural of foot is feet. Okay. If you if you have a problem with your feet, you say my feet hurt. This is the correct form in English, right? Me duelen los pies, right? Okay. My feet hurt. And the plural of foot is feet. Okay. Don't forget that. Okay, what else? And another one, I feel fantastic. I feel terrible. I feel fantastic. I have a stomach ache. And this one again, I have a feet ache. That I, my feet hurt. Okay. So this is the, the best way to use it. All right. Questions? Okay, remember that we have different ways to say pain. For example, say ache means dolor, right? But also hurt means the same, right? To say here, hurt. Hurt is also dolor, pain. Okay, when say my feet hurt. Me duelen los pies. Hurt is do you remember the song El Amor Duele? Who remembers that song? Who remembers? Nazareth, 1990 or oh, 80 something, I guess. No? 79. Uh huh. One of these. Love hurts. Right? Love hurts. And the next song huh? uh, had a uh, where you know. Uh -huh, yes, exactly. Right. So then this is love hurt. Good. Okay. Now we have the next one. 
we have the listening. And let me see now who wants to who wants to read the instructions here. Okay, Vladimir. Yes. Can you please read the instructions here? Instruction. Uh, okay. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? There, there may be one up to correct answer for each conversation. Okay, good. So if you see, listen to the conversations, where do these people hurt? So you have, for example, Ben, could be the head, the neck, the throat. Then you have uh, Allison, the hip, the back, and the elbow. Okay, remember the head here, right? The neck is right here in the back and throat is here in the front mm. okay you can see my camera right hip what is the hip hip caderas right hip mm -hmm. this far from here hip hip back that's right elbow remember oh. if the oh. is far then you have the tooth. Only one singular. The dientes. Uh huh. It's only one singular. Mouth. All the mouth. The boca. Or the chin. Remember the chin. Here, right. Then you have the wrist. This part, right here, where you put the. the one. Okay, la muñeca, right? Eyes and the hand. Okay, so now listen and let's check the answers. Para los que a veces no pueden escuchar esto, hay que darle en esta esquinita de acá. Y cuando uno le da clic, se abre otra ventana, another window. Y aquí se puede escuchar. Can you hear? No. Ni yo tampoco. Ni yo. Está en el segundo, por el segundo 20 creo que se escucha. Sí, creo. Ajá, un poquito atrasado. Where did these people go. hurt? I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Ow! Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch! Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay, now listen again. But now we're going to answer at the same time the questions here. Remember, there can be more than one answer in some cases. Where do these people hurt? I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. What's the problem? What's wrong? Ew. Huh? Cold. Oh. Cold. What? He's have a cold. Uh-huh. And... 
have a headache. He has a headache. Okay, he has a headache. He has a headache. And a throat. Um, a sore throat. Uh, throat. Okay. throat. Sore throat. Okay, let me see. Has a. Voy a usar mayúscula. Sore. Sore throat. Okay. Sore throat. Sore es otra palabra para pain. Okay, ¿Cuáles son las palabras? We have pain. Sore. Hurt. And a. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have pain, sore, hurt, a. Okay. You say it's a heartache, un dolor en el corazón, heartache. Okay. Here he has a headache, sore throat, sore throat. Okay, good. Now let me see. Let's continue. Oops. Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Okay, what's the problem with Allison? Your back and your, your head. Back and elbow. 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 The back the elbow. and the elbow, elbow hurt, right? And the elbow hurt. She, she fell down, right? Mm -hmm. she fell down the stairs. Poor Allison. So let's see now, Jeffrey. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Yeah. Do it again. Now it's showing me the empty. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. My mis my mistake. No se olviden apagar los micrófonos para que todos puedan escuchar bien. Old. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Uh, not really. My... Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, what's the problem? Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay. What's the problem with Marta? Sore eyes and sore eyes, eyes. and wrists. Wrist. And the wrist hurts. Yeah. Hurts, right? Mm -hmm. And the wrist hurts. Okay, now let's submit it. Okay, we can see this one is, we got a 10 people. This is correct. This is correct, only one. Here we have the conversation. Allison has a problem with the back and the elbow. And Ben has a problem with the head and with the throat. 
Okay, so that's it. Okay, remember the words. What are the words that we have for pain? Pain. What else? Help me. Sore. 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 Uh -huh. Pain. Sore. Ache. 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 Hurts. 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 Hurt. 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 Okay. These are the four words that we're using here. Headache. For example, we have a headache. Okay. We have a sore throat. We have a pain in the neck. Then you have, for example, uh, for example, a pain in the hip, backache, a sore elbow. It could be a sore tooth or a toothache. A mouth. For example, a sore mouth and a pain okay. in the chin. It could be a pain. We have a, my wrist hurts, she says, and sore eyes. Okay, so we have the answers. <coughs> now, questions about vocabulary, people? Mm. Okay, I will continue, and if you have questions, let me know, okay? Tengo una, una consulta ahí, teacher. No, yes, no, Alejandro, question. tell me. Este, eh, más que todo, eh, ¿qué tan, digamos, buen dicho es este, utilizar, digamos, alguna de las, de, como las, 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 las sensaciones que uno, que uno transmite en no. negativo? No, it depends. It depends uh, if it is something. Well, utilizar I can feel terrific. O, o tengo que utilizar el negativo de, de esa palabra. Ajá. Uh -huh. For example, I feel terrible. Okay. If you are sick, if you feel que se siente mal, o sea, ¿cómo se siente, right? Uh, for example, hey, how do you feel today? For example, in this moment, how do you feel? Um, I feel happy. Okay, uh -huh. okay, I feel happy, I feel oh, great, yeah. I feel nice, I feel pero, uh, terrific. Pero se puede, se puede, o sea, es bien dicho de contestar, I, I, I can feel happy. Uh, uh, but you have to give a reason, because people would say, I can't feel happy because, you know, we have this pandemic uh, situation, right? And then, uh, so I can't feel happy, okay? I feel good. Okay, in my health, I feel good. Me siento bien, but I can't feel happy. So no me puedo sentir feliz. Yes, you can say that. But depend, depends on the context, right? Depends on the context. Yeah, okay. diga. Yes. For example, uh, you know, uh, I can say, suppose I want the, uh, let's say I, I won the tournament, a, a chess tournament yesterday. Okay. Entonces, si gané un torneo, I, me puedo sentir así terrific, right? But I can't feel terrific, you know, because I can't celebrate. There are people, you know, that have problems. So I cannot feel really terrific, but I feel, I feel happy, okay? But only that. It, it depends how you feel, right? Sometimes you have to give more explanations. In other cases, not. Okay? No, okay. Uh, so, yes, but it's correct, no problem. You can use that, okay? Perfect. Eh, Alguien más hoy que dijo que tenía pregunta. Hay una voz de chica, una voz femenina. ¿No? ¿Nadie más? Okay. All right, good. Then let's do, uh -huh. A mí me queda una duda. Eh, when to use sore, pain, heart, and age? Uh, eh, for that one, there is not a, a specific rule, right? Eh, so, uh, for example, when you say uh, my, cuando dice todo lo que quiere decir tal parte me duele, right? You can say hurt. Okay. Uh, for example, you can say my, for everything you can use hurt. Hurt is a mass general. For example, my head, my head hurts. Me duele la cabeza, right? Uh, si la traduce literalmente diría como mi, mi cabeza duele. So you say my head hurts. 
pero el, el, la palabra dolor de cabeza es headache. Okay? You can say, for example, uh, my, my, her, uh, my, my heart hurts. Mi corazón duele, right? But if you want to say, tengo un dolor de corazón, you say heartache. Okay? So then uh, you have to, uh, in this case, there is not a, like a specific rule. Okay, when you use this one, right? So you have to say, for example, sore throat is for the, for the garganta, sore throat. But you can also say, my throat hurts. So in general, se puede usar hurts. Pero si quiere ser más específica, si ya tiene que recordar la palabra que va con cada una de ellas. Sore throat, backache, para la espalda, backache. Okay, eh, let me see, uh, sore, sore eyes, dolor de ojos, right? Oh, my eyes hurt. Okay, so those are the, the ones that you can use. Okay, what else? Okay, teacher, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Anybody else? No. Okay, now, uh, Tatiana, would you please read the, the subject in here by the end? By the end of this class, you will learn the name of common medication for health problems. Okay. At the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medication for health problems. Okay, for example, if I have a, if I have a headache, what would you recommend? Take aspirin. Take an aspirin, right? Right, if I have a cold, if I have a cold, what would you recommend? Which one? If I have a cold, probably not take some, uh, take a couple of capsines, right? Okay, or I don't know. Uh, Viro grip. Uh huh, viral grip, or you can also, bless you, Tatiana. Okay. Or, then or lemon tea. You can tea. also have a, a lemon yeah, tea, lemon uh -huh. tea. Some, some tea, okay, some hot beverage, right? So these are some things. Now listen. <laughs> okay, here you have some. Uh, Half drops, some common medical or common medications. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops, cold pills, eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take give as many examples as you can look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness after you finish this activity share your work okay here this is expression that we are going to practice okay when you say come on whenever i have a headache i take aspirin aspirin in general right Whenever I have a cold, I take uh, cough drops, cold pill, cold pill uh -huh. a cough syrup, okay, the jarabe, right? Mm -hmm. uh, antacid also, or muscle. Whenever I have a pain in my body, or whenever I have a pull muscle in the car, right? I uh, I put on some muscle cream. 
Okay, the muscle cream is like, what is the name, the common one here? Uh, the the, no, the, the, for the cream. Uh, Marihuanol. Metilo. Metilo. No, no, the, <laughs> yes, that's, that's a common one here, but there is another one. Uh, there's co I mean cofal, I guess, but there is a cofal. Uh, that's more a, that's more like a cream, right? It's more like a cream. Um yeah, and these are you know muscle creams, right? That you can use. And there is another one, but I can remember that when you when you heat, when you play soccer or something, then it's good for yeah. the pain. But I don't remember in this moment. Okay. But so then whenever is when you use, for example, Siempre que, o siempre cuando tengo un dolor de cabeza, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, siempre que tengo un, eh, un resfriado, I take cold pills. Pills. Okay. Eh, for example, whenever I feel, for example, whenever I feel bad, what do you do? Whenever I feel sick, what do you do? Mm. Whenever I take a rest, I take a rest. Take a rest. Okay, good. Now we're going to go back to the group. Okay, here. So wait, wait, wait. Here. I need to go back to the house. Okay, good. And now please tell me. Okay, what do you do whenever, uh, for example, whenever I have this, uh, using whenever, whenever I feel happy, I, uh, I watch a movie. Whenever I feel happy, I, uh, I listen to music. Or whenever I feel happy, I eat pupusas. Whenever I feel angry, I... I shout, okay, I, I scream, okay? Tell me sentences, using whenever I feel, whenever uh, I am sick, affirmative or negative, okay? Volunteers. Volunteers, volunteers. One volunteer. Teacher. Okay, Saba, go ahead. Saba, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, whenever I have a headache, I take a uh, aspirin. Okay, whenever I have a headache, I take an aspirin. Very good. That's correct. Okay, what else? Go ahead, go ahead. Whenever I sore eyes, sore my eyes, I have, I take a ice drop. Okay, whenever I have sore eyes, I put some eye drop. Eye drop. Eye drop. Very good, excellent. Another one. Thank you. Yes. Hester? Uh, I, uh, whenever I have a hunger. Mm hmm Whenever I feel hungry, I eat. I eat. Uh huh. Yes, I know. Whenever I feel uh, I feel hungry, I eat. Pancito con frijol. Very much. <laughs> Why did I eat? Or no. I, no. Eat, I eat a lot. Okay, good. I eat very much. I no. eat a lot. Huh? Okay. No. I eat five pupusas. Yes, is there? Uh, yeah. yeah. Five, five pupusas? Yeah. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> and and, and Coca-Cola, right? And a Coke. Okay, good. And a, la yeah. and, a, and a large and a large soda. Okay, very good. Another one, another sentence. Go ahead. That's good. That's good. That's good. Practice vocabulary. I like water. I like water. Okay. Healthy. <laughs> Healthy food. I like water. It's good. <laughs> water is good. Uh -huh, Tati? For, for my health. Yes, for your health. Hey, Tati, tell me. 
escribí una que dice, whenever I feel happy, I, I hear music. I hear, I listen to music. Hear music. Mm -hmm. I hear music, yes. Okay, good. Yes, that's correct. What else? Whenever I have a headache, mm -hmm. I drink a antiacid. Antiacid, right, good. Whenever I feel sick, I go to bed. Whenever I feel sick, I go to the doctor. Whenever I feel sick, I, I uh, uh, like I said, I, I buy medicine, okay? What else? Teacher, teacher yes. dice una, no sé si está bien. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, whenever I have a lippy, I take a nap. Okay, whenever I am, I am ah, sleepy. I am. I am sleepy. I am sleepy. Mm -hmm. I take a nap. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, good. Excellent. Good. Who else? Who else? Who else? Teacher, tengo dos. Mm -hmm. Yes, y allí porque, perdón, teacher, y ahí porque vaya, yo tengo duda porque dice, whenever I, I have sleeping, entonces yo, es whenever I am mm -hmm. sleeping. In English. Entonces, in English, mm -hmm. in English ajá. Y, este, y porque, y, y yo entendí que podía poner, whenever I have sleeping, I take a nap. Ajá, lo que, en in, in English no se dice tengo sueño, I have a sleep sino que se usa es como estoy soñoliento, algo que sería una interpretación. Dice, I am sleepy. Ok, por ejemplo, en este momento, you say, oh, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, right? And then, uh, or, or, or if you see, for example, that my, my head is banging, right? Banging like this. They say, hey, what's wrong, teacher? Oh, I'm sleepy, I couldn't sleep last night. Say, I am sleepy. O sea, es como tengo sueño. Ok, por eso es que en esta ah, frase okay. es muy bueno que me la haya dicho porque vale para que todos la, la conozcan. Entonces, mm -hmm. igual que esa, esas excepciones que hay. Right? Entonces, es una excepción. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, cuando es, eh, lo que dijo Ana, Ana dijo, whenever I am hungry, o I, ok, whenever I am hungry, I eat very much. O whenever I feel hunger, esa sería otra. Una es, whenever I am hungry, siempre que estoy hambriento. Y la otra es, whenever I feel hunger, cuando siento hambre. Dos formas de decirlo. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Igual que en español. O sea, eso da como más amplitud al vocabulario, right? al léxico. ¿Right? Mm -hmm. So, but in this case, sí es una excepción. Ahí no podemos decir, I have. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, ok. Gracias por la oración. Nos ayuda mucho. Thank you. Ok. Thank All right. You. What else? Me teacher. Okay, yes, uh, Saba, and then Eduardo, okay? Okay, uh, whenever I have a flu, I take a shower. Okay, yeah, some people recommend that. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh, Eduardo? Se podría decir, whenever I can't sleep, I watch the TV. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Whenever I can't sleep, it's a negative, right? But they, okay. When this is when no puedo dormir, but this is different, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is when I can't sleep. Whenever I can't sleep, I Quiet. watch movie. I watch oh. movie. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, animen solo demás. Okay, good, good. Go ahead. Osmaro, Saul, Walter, Santos, Nancy. Okay, Vladimir, Alejandro. Lo de una forma diferente. Uh-huh, yes. Um, whenever I eat sushi, I feel happy. <laughs> okay, very good. That's good. I like that one. Okay, yes. Uh, for example, this is a, what Griselda says in English. There is something that they call comfort food. A, el comfort food es un, uh, un alimento que nos hace sentir bien. A veces porque nos trae recuerdos de la infancia o de algún momento grato. Right, for example, whenever I feel, uh, whenever I, uh, whenever I eat, uh, what is this, uh, chocolate, okay, but those, there are some chocolates that they are like tapitas, remember, have you seen those, 
Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> whenever, whenever I eat those chocolates, you know, I remember my childhood. Whenever I eat those chocolates, I feel happy. I feel good. I feel a nice sensation. Vean cuántas oraciones puedo decir con, con eso, ¿ok? No hay una limitante a, a, lo, a las que están únicamente en el video, right? But we can relate that to many things, ¿ok? What else? Whenever I feel, uh, for example, eh, whenever I feel great, whenever I feel great, I take my family out to dinner, ¿ok? Cuando me siento bien, bien, o sea, fabuloso, Llevo a comer a mi familia afuera, right? So y puede ser I también, whenever I feel boring, I like to read. Oh, okay, yes, so explain. Whenever I feel bored, because it's a feeling, whenever I feel uh -huh. bored, I read. Okay, it's a good way. Excellent. What else? Whenever I feel great, I play with my child. Okay, whenever I feel great, I play with my child. Okay, good. ¿Y cómo se dice sediento? Thirsty. 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 En el chat lo voy a poner ahorita. Okay. Thirsty. Oops, espera, me da una mayúscula. Thirsty. Thirsty, yeah. Thirsty. Thirsty. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whenever, and, uh -huh. whenever I feel thirsty, I like to drink water. Yes, correct. Okay. Whenever I am, when, you can say whenever I am thirsty. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. en esta, este es un caso en el que pueden usar feel or I am. Cuando uh -huh. me siento sediento o cuando estoy sediento. No problem. Okay. Okay. Que se vayan escribiéndolas porque les van a servir en el futuro, porque a veces no todo está en la, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Porque el, acuérdense que el idioma es amplio, es vasto y, y hay muchas formas ya a la hora de hablarlo. Whenever I am thirsty, okay, I, I drink a cold beer. Ah, no, cold, no, a cold soda. All right. Good. What else? Another one? One more. Whenever I feel fine, I dance with my wife. Wow, yeah, that's good. That's nice. Very good. Very Thank closer. You. Yeah. <laughs> very romantic. Very, very tight. Uh, okay. Very tight, right? Very, very uh -huh. tight. Yeah, that's good. Good, Eduardo. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to go back to the platform. And then I see that you have the idea with this whenever. And uh, Eduardo, can you please read by the end the by objective the, here? By, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives additionally. You will also practice in conversations which, illust which illustrated how to topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, so here we have use positive and negative imperatives. Imperative. Okay, we're gonna see the imperatives here <laughs> in a conversation. For example, some of the imperatives that you might remember. For example, when you go to a doctor, what do the doctor says? If you have a heart problem. Take a medicine. Take, a med take medicine. It's, that's imperative, right? Tome medicina. Okay. Don't work take, too much. Don't work too much. Negative. Uh-huh. What else? Don't. Do exercise. Do, uh -huh. do exercise. Do little exercise. Uh-huh. What else? What else, what else? How do you say um, um, reposo? Take rest. a rest, take, take a rest. rest. 
uh -huh. take, a rest. take a rest or rest for a couple of weeks take a vacation mm -hmm. yes they also recommend like ay se me olvidó la palabra ajá ay no me acuerdo que le iba a decir ah then they have to eat really healthy ajá uh -huh. eat healthy food eat healthy food okay and then this is another one eat healthy. so when you use the verb to give like a little order you know, to, these are imperatives, right? Because sometimes they are recommendations, they are suggestions, okay? And it depends on how we say it. Because if you tell your children, que le dicen a sus niños, sit down and be quiet. ¿Es una sugerencia o una orden? Es una orden. Orden. Right? Ajá. Y en una clase, si el profesor le dice, okay, everybody, can you please be, uh, can you please be quiet? Sugerencia. Es una sugerencia, please, depende del tono, ¿verdad? También como se diga. Y la palabra please also helps, right? Can you please open the door? Uh, please turn off your microphone if you're not using it. It's a suggestion, right? Then uh, these are things that, that you use with imperative. Turn off your microphone, please. Turn on your camera, please. Turn off your camera, please. Okay, do this. Or oh, stand up, sit down. Okay, uh, take a note, tome nota, right? write, listen, listen to this conversation. Yeah. Okay, so these are, you know, uh, commands. Also pueden ser comandos como instructions. Okay, instructions is, for example, when you cook. Okay, how to prepare a scramble, a scramble eggs. Como preparar huevo revuelto, right? First, then you take the pan and then you give instructions. Okay, listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't Work Too Hard. Hello Ms. West, how are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement to hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take 
cough syrup. Don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, if you see, it's basically what we were saying, right? Like when you go to a doctor, in sometimes some negative uh, imperatives are positive, right? For example, like don't work too much is in a negative imperative, but the the suggestion is something good and positive for your for your health, right? Don't eat, uh, for example, fat food. Okay, don't uh, don't uh, let's say don't don't drink too much coffee. Okay, uh, do not consume uh, consume too much sugar. Okay, so these are negative but are good for your health, right? And in the positive way, for example, do exercise. Okay, uh, eat healthy food. Uh, sleep eight hours a day. Rest as much as possible, okay? So all these are, you know, different uh, uh, ways that you can that you can express a, a suggestion like if you were a doctor. A teacher will probably, what will a teacher tell the students? Practice, in the teacher say practice your English every time that you have an opportunity, okay? Read a, little books in say short books no little short short books in english watch movies in english only okay with the with the captions so not subtitles in spanish captions in english 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 uh, listen to music and read the lyrics okay and read the lyrics so that you can listen and read at the same time. Uh, for example, what else? Um, probably, what is another thing that you can, oh, write as many sentences as possible because writing is good to, to organize your ideas and to remember vocabulary, okay? Okay, so these are, you know, suggestions using imperative, right? Things that we can probably use. For example, uh, drink cup, uh, for the cold, don't do too much work out, don't do too much exercise because you are gonna be tired. You're gonna be tired and remember, drink a lot of water or to drink. Okay, then uh, for tomorrow, you're going to, uh, we're going to do the, the knowledge check. Okay, do the knowledge check and tomorrow we are going to review this here in the class. Okay, everyone. Thank you very much. Good night, teacher. Thank to you. See you teacher. To see you again. Good after night, the teacher. Thank you. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, good night. 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 Good night.